Hey, Andrew Chalman here with some ideas on subkick snare design using machines built in drum synth. Um, so I have an empty group here and we'll go ahead and use this as the, the starting point for our project. Um, so on my first sound here, this will be my kick drum. I'm going to go ahead and choose the sound, um, the sound menu up here and then hit the plus button over here and load up the kick drum synth. And now that we have this loaded up, we see we have some parameters and we'll work with these in just a minute. Um, but before we get into those, I'm just going to sequence in a note at the beginning of my pattern. And this is going to allow us to actually play back the sound and hear it as we make the changes to the different parameters in the drum synth. Um, so we can go ahead and play this back uh, by holding control and then the space bar. And that's going to allow us to sort of try out this kick drum as we change it and make it sound as we want. Um, so anyways, we have this all loaded up. Let's go ahead and go into the mixer menu just to sort of have a, a better interface to work with. Uh, the first thing I'll do here is increase the decay on my kick drum. I'm just going to bring this up a little bit to sort of have it ring out a little bit more. And then I'm also going to go ahead and change uh, the pitch bend options down here. Um, so this is actually going to, to change how the attack sounds. Um, if we bring this really far up, you can actually hear that the, that the beginning of the sub kick has that pitch bend to it. Um, so we don't want such a, such a drastic effect here, so I'm going to bring these down a little bit. And that's just going to give a little bit of an attack at the beginning of the sound. Um, you can also use the attack option over here to further increase that, uh, that beginning sound. Um, but I don't really like that high frequency noise at the beginning, so I'll bring this down quite a bit, almost all the way off. This is also a good time to, to uh, put the kick drum in tune with your project. Um, I don't really have any other things going on with my project at the time, but um, say if you have a sample, you could figure out the, the root note of your sample and set your sub kick to match that. Um, you could also do that if you have some synths or some other sounds going with your project. Um, so anyways, we have our drum synth finished up here and I'm gonna go back and, and we can take a look at some other effects that we can use on top of the actual drum synth to sort of fatten up the sound a little bit. Um, so the first thing I'll do is just load up a machine stock compressor. So the compressor is just going to sort of bring up the overall level of that kick and make it uh, quite a bit more, uh, more emphasized. You can play with any of these settings over here, but for a quick project, um, these stock ones will do just fine. You can also play with some saturation or um, actually some light distortion to get some cool effects. Um, so I'm gonna add a distortion uh, bring this up a little bit and actually let's play with this You can hear in some tracks that they have that really distorted sort of sub bass and using a, a little bit of distortion bring the mix quite a bit far down um, And that's going to give that sort of crunchier sound to your kick drum So there it is with the distortion enabled and then enabled or disabled So you can also change this to the saturator to get some effects as well. You can hear it start to distort as you bring the input up. Um, but just this, these effects in light amounts are just going to uh, give your sub kick sort of a, a unique sound to it rather than just a sort of stock 808 kick drum sound. Um, so play around with the drum synth in conjunction um, with these other effects. The compressor is probably going to be always on there. Um, but you can be more creative with the distortion and the saturation. Um, so hopefully this gives you some inspiration. Um, I really use the drum synth a lot because, like I said, it allows me to get the, the tune locked in rather than searching around by ear. So thanks for watching this week's quick tip. If you found it helpful, please consider subscribing, and I will see you on the next video.